Uh, YouTube, Texas Blades here. Kind of wanted to just do a quick overview, quick look at a couple of blades we're going to be uh, reviewing here real soon. We have more coming in than this, but this is what I have to do now. It is the SE Portable Hand Chainsaw. I have taken it out of the pack just because I wanted to put it in a pouch, and it is a pain in the grits to get in this uh, pouch. There's a little belt loop on it. This thing is like 18 and a half inches just blade, you know, the first set of teeth to the last set of teeth is 18 and a half inches, so it's actually longer with the stra uh, straps and connections. But we're going to we're gonna wait to open it till we do the full review. Uh, that should be coming out real soon, next few days, maybe I'll get it uploaded today, who knows. Uh, but it looks like a pretty cool little saw. Came in this pack, I paid... I want to say $12.99 for it at uh, Bud K. I've seen them on eBay for right around $11, $12, about the same price. Uh, I have heard of people getting hand chainsaws like this. Uh, more of a knockoff brand than SE, I guess, which, you know, next to impossible in my book to get any more of a knockoff than SE. But they were picking them up for like eight, nine bucks. I just couldn't find anything that cheap. Uh, so I went with the SE. Pouch seems a little bit flimsy. It is double stitched. I love double stitching, as most of you know, on nylon sheaths especially. I think they should have went with like an X stitch on these, on the uh, belt loop. I can see that tearing out real quick. Uh, most of them do most of the time, so it does have a little pocket behind it to put your uh, file so you can sharpen it. So we'll definitely be doing a review on this and probably, uh, we'll probably do the review today, Not go ahead and knock it out and then it'll be uploaded within a week or so. And then we got the K-Bar Zombie Acheron, I hope I'm saying that right. It's the uh, skeleton knife they sell. It is a neck knife, or it could be used for a neck knife, doesn't have to necessarily. Uh, again, we'll have all the specs and stuff on this coming out, I just have to you know, do a little bit of research on it. I just wanted something to replace the... Uh, Smith & Wesson Tonto neck knife that I usually use because if you look at it it's really wide I wanted something that was slim that you you know you really can't tell is there so I was looking at these they're ten bucks perfect price for me uh, I think the Smith & Wesson blade here was probably about five or less uh, somewhere in there so it's about double the price uh, but it's a lot slimmer blade a lot, lot thinner profile so it doesn't have the emergency whistle like the Smith & Wesson Tonto but I have never once used it uh, you know I understand that if you need it you need it if you don't you don't but I have other options for whistles like this little SE camp tool we carry has a whistle built onto it I have a compass whistle somewhere else so I don't necessarily need the whistle uh, I have plenty of whistles I have an emergency whistle on my bag and, uh, also so be looking out for these reviews. They're going to be coming out soon. That's going to be it for this one. Thanks for watching, YouTube.